Alright everybody, we're getting started again. Drink your coffee, eat your donuts. Check, check. I'm just gonna wear it. I'm just gonna wear it. This is my e-girl cam mic. Somebody, we gotta disperse this crowd. Alright, um... If you can hear me, clap one time. If you can hear me, clap two times. If you can hear me, clap three times. All right, this side of the room, they're with me. Not, not hyper enthusiastic. What's up, Tyrell? And we're going with the with the with the data paradigms. Hey, and it's been it's been a, a heck of a couple weeks for me. I got laid off from Intel, so now I'm ex-Intel. It gave me some more time to do presentation stuff. I didn't necessarily take it. And it was last it was last night. I was like, am I gonna rehearse this thing again? Or am I gonna make it fall team? And we got fall <laughs> we got fall teams. Three data paradigms. There's three ways to think about data. And my my short time at Intel was kind of tumultuous uh, for a couple reasons. And it did, it did make me want to do maybe some other presentations on corporate psychology or why teams cannot get basic things done. But this one's going to be a little more pleasant, easygoing, no fingers pointed, just a little bit of a psychological breakdown of how we interface our data. The three data paradigms. All you folks listening at home, God bless. Angle number two. And we got some audio some audio coming through here that's why i'm wearing these not just to be cute <laughs> hi i'm julian loyakino i'm here because i love to give presentations you can find me at julian flow the three data paradigms streams tables and graphs oh my let's talk about streams I bet you've all seen this kind of stream. This is streaming video. This is also a kind of stream. These are stock prices. They just keep coming at you. Also, server logs. Not to give anybody PTSD, <laughs> but these are also a stream. Novels are a stream. A conversation's a stream. And when Jack Kerouac, he got this long scroll, many, 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 many meters long, typed it all out in one go. That's a stream of consciousness. And that's a stream. Not very organized. What if somebody gave you this to you and said, do some data science on this? I wouldn't be happy. <laughs> Let's talk about tables. We upped our, upped our game as, as humankind. We upped our game a little bit. Arguably way before this, but this is the ledger. This is how you track purchases and what we call transactional data. And it goes back to antiquity. Some of the first symbols that we have are directly related to transactions. Uh, here's a German ledger from 1828. We took that and made VisiCalc with it. What modern program does this remind you of? Sheets, Google Sheets, yeah. We skipped right over Excel. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it's, it's got Python now. Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs said the success of Apple II is based on this program called VisiCalc. Tables. And then they said, let's, let's find a way to query these tables. So structured query language. And people go ham with these queries. Here's some different kinds of SQL. MySQL, SQLite, MS SQL, or SQL Server, and Postgres. They're all more or less the same. More or less the same. Seeing some, seeing some nods in the audience. Not exactly. <laughs> the dissenter. Bring it up in the question section. Uh, you, can, you can make queries with 
SSMS, the SQL Server Management Studio by Microsoft. And a friend and I just went into some of that. You can, you can tie your tables together with schemas, which is like, oh, that's graph. Well, bring it up in the question time. Here's our graphs. Here's a, the third one. We got, we've done um, streams, tables, and now we're doing the third one that's graphs. And this is my favorite one. Here's all the, all, the, all the squares. Well, squares are contained within the set of all quadrilaterals. That's all shapes with four sides. Those are contained within polygons, which is all shapes with sides. And those are contained within the set of all shapes. So we have organized hierarchically or graphically the set of all, uh, all, uh, all squares. We did the same thing to animals in the 1800s. Linnaeus broke down the animal kingdom in much the same way, where there's different, um, different ranks, if you will. And if you can see this fox, here's the derivation of this fox according to the animal kingdom mapping. It's a hierarchical representation. You can also represent things in JSON. I did a whole religion with it. Graph and hierarchical data is more closely associated with NoSQL. NoSQL and JSON are the language of web. And we are finding that for transactional data, thank you, it can be much easier to represent these things hierarchically in JSON format as opposed to putting them in a traditional SQL database. There's a couple flavors of NoSQL. MongoDB. Redis, I see some, some support for Redis. Redis is the most loved database. It's, it's simple. It exists in memory. ScyllaDB is also there. I guess it's like Mongo. DynamoDB, AWS's thing. Elasticsearch, uh, that's part of the ELK stack. But it's bigger than data. You can represent algorithms hierarchically or tabularly or in stream format. You can, I've shown that you can represent animals that way as well as shapes. So whenever you go to organize data, usually it's going to wind up in one of these three paradigms. That's it. Any thoughts? This is more of a free-flowing, easy-going, who's yeah. Streaming? Who's streaming? Who defined that there's only three types of data? Is that like... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the book of Julian, yes. I guess? It's, it's in the Hadith. It's not <laughs> canon. <laughs> I, I argue it could be mathematically true, though. It's in, in, the way, in the terms of structuring data. I can't think of anything that doesn't fall into one of these three categories. Can you? I can't think of anything on the spot. Jimmy. Mutually exclusive. That's a great question. Um, this is a framework as opposed to an um, exhaustive description. So the one that's, that's kind of on the border is the, um, the SQL, when you, when you make a schema of SQL tables, because you are kind of imposing some hierarchical structure on these tables depending on where you work and how swampy their data is. It's, that's also kind of a gray area. Um, most part, like JSON is definitely the important ones. JSON, NoSQL, pretty firmly in graph. SQL, Excel, pretty firmly in tables. And then, yeah, everything else, like, we're close to streaming. That's what we, we grow up and do. That's how we learn. That's what we experience most things. So I think part of my problem at Intel was they gave that to me and said, this is data. I said, that's not data. Uh, I saw a question over here. Mark? When should I use one of these paradigms? Um, what are the different use cases for the paradigms? Well, streaming, it's good for video. Streaming is good for things that are close to us. SQL, SQL comes from business. SQL comes from transactions. And I don't know what the future of it is. They used to say the army ran on spreadsheets, which, I mean, they're a powerful thing. They're, 
there's something that a lot of people can understand how to use SQL. But if you're in web world, you're probably going to want to do JSON and no SQL, like web things, like click, click streams or orders or roughly that. Anything else? Thank you. That's my talk. Thank you.